Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Growing Clip Bonsai for Seniors. Today is September 5th of 2024. It's Thursday. It's 82 degrees Fahrenheit or 28 degrees Celsius at 8 p.m. We're going to do trim and, and stick. We're going to prune my geranium, and then we're going to try to put the cuttings in the thimble. Then we're going to try to lay it flat, and then we're going to use a Starbucks cut and put the other one in there. <laughs> hey, why not? Reuse it. So, let's get cracking. First, I'm going to show you my little thimble one that, that rooted because these steel ones are hard to uh, hold a, a cutting in there because it gets so hot. But with this in here, in the styrofoam, it really took. And you can see the nice little curvature it's getting. So, I got another thimble here. I had it soaking in water because I have some uh, unmilled sphagnum moss in there. And then we're going to take my mini mix. But before we do that, well, let's do it anyway. Spoon, spoon, where's my spoon? Here's my spoon. And we're just going to put it over into here. Now we're not going to do nothing to it yet because here's our geranium. Let's get this out of the way. We got to prune the geranium first. I'm jumping ahead of the schedule here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some in this one. Because this is a plastic one with the unmilled sphagnum moss. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to let it sit in the water and see if it'll soak up some moisture until we get going here. Now, here's my geranium. The flower broke on it, bringing it in. So. Nothing you can do with that. So I'm going to take my ironwood small pruner because you know nothing cuts wood like ironwood. But this is just a little geranium and cut it right about there. Take the flower and we can stick it. First we'll do a 45 on it. And let's bring this down so you can see what's going on. And we'll let Mr. Elephant put some water in here. Mr. Elephant says to hello to all the kitties that are watching. There we go, just like that. Put it in. Just for the time being, it smell up the basement a little bit. Now we're going to take some of this dead stuff off, these dead leaves, dead flowers that started growing on there. Now we got a, a real uh, dead part of the trunk here, so I'm just going to cut it back because we just want to triple trunk and that one died you can see how rotten that was goodness my grief look at all that black stuff that came out of it there we go so that's gonna have to really really dry probably with the rain and everything so let's wipe all that off I'll take my peroxide because if there's any mold in there or anything, the peroxide will kill it on the pruners here. So I'll just wipe that off. Okay, so I got a nice little little uh, roundabout here. A nice little cutting for the thimble. And I think I can take this one right here. See that little piece right there? And we're going to just take this big leaves off. Just leave the one on. Just going to trim this here. And then we're going to take my uh, rooting hormone. Put a little on the cover. Just a little dab like that. And we're just going to Rub it all in there. Put the hormone all on there because that was the, I cut it just below the brain on there. And you can see how this soaked up the water. And we can stick it right in. There we go. And let's cover this like this. And then we'll take a little more of our 
our fine mix and just stick it on there and just use your chopstick try to get it in there we go just like that and let it sit in the water let it soak up and this will go in the shade with the other one uh, Let's see what else we got. Well, right now I'm going to take this off, this off, and this off. And we're going to cut it back to about here. Right about there. And this can make a good cutting here. Because here's the brain over here. So all I'm going to do is cut this back a little bit. And then we're going to take... Our Ted's mix and just throw it into the bottom of the cup here so we can get the, oh, not there Tom Tom you're losing it today I just cleaned 10 fish tanks so what are you gonna do get our Ted's mix in there we might be able to get two or three cuttings in here Uh, time. Use your brains, kid. There we go. Just like that. Just for now. And we'll put it on my little dish here. Got a little dish. And Pinkie Pie can give it some water. Just like that. And we'll cover that up. Ugh, my back is killing me today. And we'll do a little take some of this leave off so it doesn't lose evaporate a lot of water. There we go. And then we'll just stick it into our hormone here. And we'll just take our chapstick, make a little hole, put it in there. Now I got this other pot from Triagami. And the, the, the willows I had in there dried out super fast and it wasn't able to hold enough moisture. So we're gonna do we're gonna go with the geranium. And I got this little tray here so we're going to let it sit on there. So we're going to put that with some soil in there, some fine mix. And then we'll go from there and see how it'll, it'll uh, stick. We're going to just take a little, we're going to take it, the experiment is we're going to lay it flat. So all I'm going to do is spray bottle just like that a little more spray so we can get it going I can't I can't keep it hidden from you guys because you're not going to be able to see it now what can we use for a good sturdy trunk well, this looks like it's pukey looking. It looks like it's a little bit of dye in there. And I can tell because it's hard like a rock, but it's still green. Still green, and you still can see the brain there. So all we're going to do is into the hormone. And give it a stick into the cup. Just like that. Now we're not going to repot this because there's no roots coming out. Now this one, I'm going to cut it back drastically to, well, well, before I do that, this one's got a lot of brains. So I'm going to cut it back to here. And now what I'm going to do is just score it. 
like that just so we can get a fleshy contact. Probably do it with your fingernail better. Just below the brains. See, that's where I'm scoring it. Just below the brains. Right in between. Oh, fingernails ain't strong enough for that bark. And I'm just gonna just move it like that. And we're gonna see if this thing will shoot put out shoots and root. So what I'm gonna do, put a little there. And I get my brush. Take our hormone and dust it all on there. All into the cuts where I scraped it, right by the brains. Now we're going to just lay it flat. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it. We're going to try it. And what better way to experiment is with a geranium. Now this thing i got to throw out so I don't contaminate nothing. And we're just going to put this a little bit closer. Now we got to keep the eyeball on it. So what I think I'll do with this one is keep it in the basement until something appears. Spray bottle. So this would be like a fallen log. Let's see if anything sprouts out of it. It's got this, I can keep water in here to keep it hydrated when I put it in the shade outside. Now, this one, we got it nice and soaking into here. So I'm gonna stick it back into the hole that I made into here. Here's the hole. We'll stick it right next to its little buddy there. And then I'll show you what I'm gonna do after that. But let's, let's trim this back a little more. So we're gonna cut it right, right above the brain there. Cut these big leaves off. Let's cut it. And this is a good time to put them outside. We got it right below the brain. There's a lot of brains on here. Dust it real good. Start a hole in there. Poke it in. And we'll throw a little bit of this soil in there. That's fine. Just on the top so we can get it all covered real nice. And let's see if we get the Starbucks geranium going here. Hey, you never can tell. Let's get this out of the way. And then on this, I'm gonna. Oh, I got that all contaminated. Nice work, Tom. Yeah, throw it in there. What are you gonna do? Let's just water that in. Don't be afraid to try. Got those of you who drink the Starbucks. I have a, a small one with my daughter-in-law. I went from there. Now this little teeny tiny little thimble. This might be a little big, so I'm gonna cut it back to here. And with that little one. Got some nice rooting hormone on it. And we're gonna stick it into here. Now if this roots, you're gonna have a we're gonna have a nice thick trunk. Just put a little bit there, a little bit there. And then I'm gonna let it soak. 
so it, it, it gets some uh, moisture in there. Come on, little guy, stand in that little container there. So now with this dish, so we got this one that looks good. We got that one. You can see all the, the juice that came out of here. Put that into there so I can take it outside. It's supposed to rain tonight, but I don't know. And we're going to take some of our fine mix and just put it around there. Fine mix, I got my, uh, my uh, Peace River gravel mixed in with the other stuff because the Peace River gravel is real nice and small. There we go. And these stems I'll leave in here in case it rains tonight so they can really totally dry. Make sure we get this in. Push it in. There we go. And now for this one, so we can have it, so it can have some moisture in there. I don't know if you can see it. Let's go right there. I got some sand mixed with some uh, worm castings. Let's get that out of there. And some peat moss. Just stick it in there, and this will help hold the uh, styrofoam in place, and it'll also hold moisture in there. Now this one's nice and wet, and so I'm just going to take the tip of my chopstick and just press, press it in, and then we'll stick it right here. I'm going to let this dry real good. Well, before I do that, let me spray the soil so it gets hydrated. Now, if it rains tonight, this might rot. Maybe that's why that middle part rotted. It didn't dry out enough. And with these little ones, a spray bottle comes in handy for watering them. So now we're just going to stick this right into here. Get the soil nice and compacted to it. Take a little more here. Put it there. Put it there. There. And we go from there. And I got two pieces of moss that were super dry. So I'll just put a piece there and I got a teeny tiny little one I don't know if it's gonna green up or anything but what are you gonna do we'll try it out so I'll probably have to hunt for some more moss <laughs> so excuse the mess but it's a little something don't forget to try geranium bonsais I mean why not I don't want to put pinky pie this one's wet enough and this will soak it in real good. And uh, that's why I got my pants. Can't wipe it on my shirt because it's white. So, so, I think we did a good job today. And with a geranium, it's fun to make a bonsai because it's fast growing. You can experiment on it if you goof up. It'll regrow again. And if you really goof up, well, there's always the store. You get another one, and they're cheap after, at the end of the season if you can still find them. So this will go on here. And I stick it outside. And then this I'll put in another, in a, in a, a shaded recovery zone. This one here. Pinkie Pie can give it a little more water that way there with all them holes in the bottom of this these stones the Peace River gravel will hold the moisture for it so we can see if we got a fallen log and if we got some growth out of it and you can see the how nice the Vancouver geranium took and we'll see how if these two geraniums take so little experiment ah, that's why God made pants <laughs> so 
Today is Thursday night. Read a good book. Take a half hour and read a book or get yourself some good uh, good research books. Now this one I got for the insects in the yard if you don't know what it is. It's Rodell's uh, Color Handbook of Garden Insects. And I know a lot of you get stuck with Japanese beetles. And that's on page 37. I got this book in... What does it... May 3rd of 1991. I always mark it. And it tells you how the Japanese beetles look, what you can put on there, the host plants, and uh, predators, insect predators like uh, fall tiffia, spring tiffia wasp, tachinid flies, and the best thing to do for Japanese beetles is you got to start doing it either in the fall right now and or in the early spring. You can get the milky spore and put it in a lawn because that's where they're hiding. They're grubs. And then they come out and they start in, in the thousands, start eating your plants. So, or you get to go to Arbic, Arbico Organics. And they got the beneficial nematodes that you just water them into the soil and you wet the water the soil so they can swim in through the and through the soil and they go into any open orifice in the in the grub and they eat it from the inside out so that's how you get rid of your japanese beetles so read a good book and and who's here today Kevin says hi. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. Don't forget, cup of tea. Take a half hour and read a good book and shut everything off. Take care.